Hi YouTube, this is Andy Rag again. Um, continuing on from my initial video about the PV6 mixer, um, I've had a couple of questions come through to me from a couple of you guys out there that have this thing, uh, wanting to know how to set it up uh, and do some basic fault finding as to uh, as to why it doesn't work with your particular setup. So what I'm going to do is basically run through the setup of one channel. Um, that channel essentially being a basic mic channel uh, and go on to then the connection to the PC or laptop or whatever it is you're using and how to configure your bit of software. So let's start off with the cabling and uh, we'll take it from there. So what we've got is we've got the desk uh, which is linked via USB and power linked to my netbook just a simple Windows XP netbook uh, I've got Audacity on there with the default device drivers and all that um, and uh, what I'm going to be using as my input device is going to be my PV PVI 100 microphone just a basic dynamic microphone got it from Gear for Music cost me about 28 pounds with the cable included now my cable is XLR to quarter jack now what that means is that the bit that goes in the microphone looks like that and the bit that goes into the amp or the mixing desk looks like that so just bear with me while I plug those together because I haven't got that many hands and uh, we'll take it from there okay back on with the recording so what we're going to look at now is we've got the microphone plugged into the cable the cables plugged in to the quarter jack input on the mixer um, and the line level for the input is set down at zero now a quick thing about condenser mics if you've got a condenser mic um, you may also have a uh, or you will have a cable with an XLR male end for plugging into the mixing desk and obviously that's going to plug in here um, if you've got a condenser mic always make sure that you've got your phantom power enabled which is done so just here and pushing in that button and lifting out that button enables and disables it uh, the little light comes on when it's on uh, point to note as far as I'm aware that the phantom power is only available on channels 1 and 2 so make sure that you're using the right inputs for start okay now as I've got it set up now the the line input on the uh, on the microphone is down at zero and what we need to do is obviously we need to bring that up until we start getting a signal through to the input stage of the uh, of the uh, of the mixer so I'm just going to raise this up to about seven switch the mic on bring the output of the mixing desk up and then start to talk what you should see is on the output LEDs here you should see some some kind of uh, indication so I'll just bring the mic up to my face switch it on there's nothing there okay let's bring the gain up some more hello is anybody there no nothing there might help if I switch the thing on right <laughs> uh, okay so just repeat that spike the gain off so you can see when I'm talking into the mic with a gain set low there's hardly any signal registered if I turn the gain up a little bit I turn the gain up there's a little bit more indication there and as I bring the level up there's more and more signal getting through to the mixer and if I max it, if I max it out there you can see that I'm getting uh, a lot more deflection on the uh, on the output um, so you can see there how that uh, how that port how that knob affects the uh, the overall output so what I'm going to do is I'm going to back it off to about uh, seven or eight um, so that we can then see uh, that the uh, that the the nominal sort of output uh, me talking uh, at, a, at a given level is uh, is green almost orange okay right that's that backed off it's me talking straight into the microphone you can see that the the peaks are just only just in into the sort of like the yellow segments now if we look at the rest of the uh, the dials I'll just switch that off for a second all the other controls here I've got I've got middle now these three are obviously your EQ don't really worry about those until you really get into recording and wanting to adjust uh, the mix uh, you know the uh, the low medium and high settings uh, or the bandwidth that you've got there so you can either cut or boost certain frequencies this one here 
is basically controlling the level of the effect that you're introducing into the channel. Again, we're not we're not doing anything about effects uh, at this stage, so just leave that set at zero. Uh, this is your pan control, which affects whether your signal is going to be in the left or the right of a mix, or in the middle. Uh, ideally, it wants to be in the middle. Although you might want to play around with that to see what kind of effects you get. And then you've got the uh, the overall uh, control or the level control for the channel. Now, the way that this can impact is if you've got a channel or a, an input coming in at a, a given volume while you're recording and then suddenly, I don't know, some singer starts wailing out, uh, what you might find is that, uh, that the level starts to overdrive the channel uh, and you'll see this shortly. Uh, you, you don't really want to do that because obviously your sound quality is going to uh, suffer as a, as a result. So you can back the, the, uh, the gain off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk back into the uh, the channel bring and bring that in and you'll see what the effect is on the LED as I raise the input level. So just bear with me. So immediately you can see there that we're getting more uh, more of the signal. The signal's boosted out to the output stage of the mixer. And if I really go and uh, put that to full scale deflection, then we, sh we should see uh, some clipping going on and overdriving of the channel. Just bear with me. So, uh, oh no. Uh, now, this is obviously indicating that we've not got enough input gain. Uh, so, I'm just going to put everything at max so that you can see the effects. So there, now you can see that just me talking at a steady level is actually overdriving the channel, and that's not really desirable. So you want to back off the uh, the channel output um, until that essentially disappears, that clipping disappears, uh, and then obviously you can play around with your your input gain and your channel uh, gain until you get the desired effects. Okay. So we're back now down to what I would consider to be a reasonable, uh, you know, deflection. Uh, you might want to play around with that and maybe increase the gain up a bit. Um, so what we've demonstrated there is that actually the the microphone or the signal from the microphone is actually getting to the output stage of the mixer. Uh, that's what those little LEDs are telling me. So from now. What we can do is we can actually go to the PC and make sure that the the signal is getting as far as the PC and that the PC is set up correctly. Uh, to uh, to actually record from, so uh, just bear with me. Okay, this is my Windows XP netbook. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through how to set up uh, Windows essentially to to be able to see the output from the mixer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the sound properties. So go down to your little speaker icon in your system tray. Right click it, adjust audio properties. And then we're going to go to the audio tab. Okay, I'm not quite sure this is going to come through very well, but we'll see how we go. Now, what you'll see in here under the sound recording section is that the default recording device is the default sound card in, in your system, essentially. Uh, for me, it's the Realtek HD Audio, which is built into the uh, into the netbook. What you need to do, obviously, making sure that the the mixer is plugged in and switched on is make sure that that is set to USB audio codec because that's what it is uh, and once you've done that just click apply and all that's doing is making sure that the the default sound the the, the default input uh, for recording is going to be your mixer okay and once you've set that you can either click OK or click apply and OK there's no real difference you can then go to your recording software now I'm using audacity uh, you you might be using something else. Move my finger out of the way of the camera, um, but the uh, essentially the setup is going to be pretty much the same. Uh, I'm going to look into the properties or the preferences of the uh, the configuration, and what I'm ensuring is I'm looking at the recording device. Now already this is set to USB audio codec, but if you just drop that down, you could see. You've got Microsoft Sound Mapper input, USB audio codec, or the Realtek HD audio input. Now, obviously, that's my uh, default sound card. We want to make sure that that's set to USB audio. And once you've done that, you can test this out by just 
hitting record and seeing if you get a waveform. So now I've hit, I've got the recording going on. You can already see because I've got the mic on switched on, the mic switched on from uh, from the mixer. That as I'm speaking, the the microphone, which is some distance away from me at the moment, is actually picking something up, albeit very uh, very gently. And as I bring the microphone towards me, um, we can see that a wave is being recorded or sound is being recorded and if we look back at the mixer you'll see that the uh, the little LEDs there are deflecting to show you that you've uh, you're actually passing the signal through so that's pretty much an end-to-end -end test that you can do to verify that your that your mixer is working um, I hope that's been of use to you um, please bear in mind I'm still beginner with this I'm sort of like finding my feet and learning things as I go so I'm no expert by any means but uh, obviously people have sent me questions and I'm I'm really I really feel that if if you uh, if so, if you ask a question of somebody the, the least courtesy they could give you is to actually say I'm sorry I can't help you or actually answer in their own way so uh, this is my effort uh, I hope it's been of use um, take care everybody and I'll see you again on YouTube cheers